Okay. Because uh, the cross multiplication method is not uh, there for you, right? So it is not uh, there in your syllabus, uh, yes, right, sir. guys? Yes. Yeah, but uh, but you guys want that. So just for the sake of your knowledge, right? So, okay. But we have to do well in the exam. I am satisfied with uh, more than 70 and 75, but uh, your parents uh, are in, so you guys have to think about that. Just uh, practice, so yeah, I only care about the preparation part. But, uh, but yeah, your parents will like to do it well in your, so that will, so in the paper that has to, that has to be shown, right? Whatever the result uh, that we get, so in paper that has to be shown. Uh, guys, uh, only my my suggestion would be so start prepare start uh, preparing for from now and uh, practice practice more, right? Okay, yeah. So, Shaima, how many chapters are going to come in your exam? I am asking you again. Sorry. The first eight chapters. First three. Eight. First eight. Yes, sir. Okay, then, then I don't have words to explain. So this is this a half no, yearly? Yes, so sir. Is, is this half yearly exam or what? So it's like screening test all the portions that were taught before the vacation. So this is not the part of the uh, main exam, right? Just to check whether whether you guys know about all these things. Yeah, so this is just for the tag purpose, right? Sir, can you repeat what you said? Yeah, so I'm saying that it is it is not from the uh, syllabus point of view. It is just to check whether you guys have learned all these eight chapters or not, right? So this is uh, not in the actual exam point of view. What is this? So I think it is. So you didn't get the question. Yeah, Shyamal. Yes, so, sir. Yeah, I am asking that. Uh, so the marks will not add up. Uh, so these uh, screening tests, the marks will not add up with the final final exam. Or will so this it add will. Up? It, it will. will. Okay, because uh, because uh, this uh, this is how it goes. So first you have sessionals, and then you have this quarterlies, and then you have half yearlies, and then you have this. Uh, so this is how it goes, right? But uh, but uh, start. So the unit test one is already over. Okay, unit one is over. Then you have this unit two, right? And then you have uh, no, sir. We have midterms and then unit two. Okay, midterms. But in 10th yeah. standard, we have a screening test and then you need to. Okay, screening. Yeah, so this, then uh, then this will not uh, add up in the final. So if this is a screening test, this is just to check you whether you have. So I am thinking by that. Okay, because the unit one, unit two add up, not this as screening test. Okay, so you just confirm with your teachers. Okay, fine. Because uh, because this is totally unnecessary that uh, first eight uh, chapters are coming to this. Uh, so the schools have just started and they can't complete these eight chapters in a rush and they, they can ask about that. So, so this is this is after in my in my opinion. I don't know. So since okay. our school started in March, so they completed. Yeah, March, April, May, so three months, right? Yes, sir. And uh, and you have what? Uh, so the final exam will happen in February, right? Yes, sir. So only so you have fourteen chapters, right? Yes. And and with this uh, speed, they will complete in the next three months or next two months, right? So five months and then you have seven months to spare. So what, so how, how is, how they are, so please, okay, so let, let us not uh, uh, waste our time in uh, thinking those uh, abstracts. Okay, so I don't know, you prepare, so I, I think you are brilliant, so we just prepare. And uh, whenever you face any problem in any other chapters that we have uncovered, so you can ask. 
Okay. Yeah. So also let us quickly uh, quickly uh, do the this one uh, problem that. Uh, so this was the question. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it was very uh, very good that you, you found uh, so Sharma you found this uh, condition. So uh, this was a very important point that uh, there were two solution and one solution was k equals to four, and you found this uh, case right. So this is this is very good. yeah. So. This was the question, Kalha, right? Yes. And we have A equals to, so Shaima did this problem, right? And uh, B, 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 and your approach was uh, totally correct. So Kalha, your approach was correct, but you stopped in the middle, right? Yeah, so this is A, B, and C, and we have to what? B equals so B square minus 4 A, C, C. So this is 4 and minus A minus 4 square, and then uh, this minus of 4. So okay. And A is how much? A minus 4, and C is 2, B equals to C. So without uh, solving, just take this. Uh, so this is common, right? You don't have to simplify and then solve this. Right. This is common, so we can take 4 and k minus 4 common. So this is k minus 4, and this is uh, how much? This is how much value? Yes. This one, this is how much? I have taken 4k minus 4 common. Yes. 4k minus 4 common, so what is remaining? Guys? Yes. One? No. See the total term. 4k minus 4. Oh, two. Right, so. Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. So this happens with me also, right? So at one, at some point, I added 1 plus 3 equals to, let's say, 5. So this I did at some point. So. Yeah, so this guy goes over there and this becomes zero. So k minus four and k minus six is zero, right? So we have k equals to four, k equals to six. But uh, there was this, uh, yeah, so I am very impressed with Shaman, but there, there was this uh, this equation that we have to take care of or be careful, right? So if k equals to four, what would be the case? If k equals to four, then what would happen? Yeah, Tala. Yes. So if k is equals to four, then what would happen with this equation? Then uh, instead of k, that will be four. Yeah. So four minus four is. Yes. So it will become zero. Yeah. So you don't have a quality equation, right? Yes. So you take six. Okay. Yeah. So this is discarded, and this is so this was the problem, right? I have just taken the shortcut. I didn't, uh, so you guys can do that or you guys expand these terms and then. But sir, from where did you get six? Huh? Tala, are, six. are you, are you really, a K minus six? So four minus two is six, right? K oh yeah, oh, I did not see that. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just hear that, I just hear that. Yeah, so, so we have K square, right? So two, oh, yeah. two solution will be there, right? Yeah, so this is done. Uh, understood, Adel, Rezwan. So why did you cr cross k equals 4? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so this is, uh, let's say this is k minus 4 x square plus 2, right? Yeah, so uh, yes, yes, uh, Rezwan. Thank you for asking question. You guys can ask okay. any doubt that you have, right? So Okay, so if I take k equals to 4, this would be 0. This would be 0 plus 2 equals to 0. Right. So this is firstly not a correct equation, right? 2 equals to 0 is not a correct solution. And then 
And then you have this uh, x square is not clear. So this is also not a quality right? This is a constant term. So from both, uh, so from two conditions, this uh, this scenario is not suitable, right? This scenario is not clear. So then this is this four is not this one. Okay, is one. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, Adil. Any question? Any doubt, Adil? No. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so everyone is here. So on Friday, we have a test of four uh, chapters. And uh, so, when is your uh, exam, Shaiman? On which date? So, which exam? The screen test? Yeah, maths, maths. Yes. It's on yeah. 27th August. 27th August? Yes, sir. Okay, so then then we would be able to complete those eight chapters, right? So, you gave me some uh, very Hard time, Hard right? Time. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that it is happening. So I said 11. it was after vacation. Yeah, okay. I thought I that it is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. See, see, uh, all these guys got scared of those, uh, right? So, eight chapter on 11 June. That's why I was. Yeah, then then that is okay. Then that is okay, Shai. Yeah, so. Sir, got a Yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah, so now I can cover those eight chapters. Yeah, so then, uh, it's good that I asked that when is when is that gonna happen? Okay, so yeah. Okay, now now it's a deal. Then 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 we'll be able to complete this. So, so we have only three chapters to or two chapters to complete. Yeah, so let us let us quickly revise uh for these four chapters and then just start this again. Thank you. So this AP is the, uh, what uh, should I say? So this is the simplest chapter, you know, all these. Uh, probation. Yeah, so this is the simplest chapter uh, in all these chapters. And uh, this is also the interesting one. So, And uh, when, <laughs> when is that? Uh, oh, so unit uh, two test is after that still. Yes, right, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so recap. Recap of first chapter. So first chapter, Euclid division lemma is not there. Only you have this prime factorization. Right. So in prime factorization, you know that uh, you can write any composite numbers. Right. Composite number equal to the prime factors. Right. Multiple of prime factors. Okay, then there was this uh, with this prime factorization method. You know, you can calculate this LC in by you do the prime factorization, and then uh, you take the highest common power, right? Highest or lowest uh, is what? Mm, highest. Yeah, okay, yes, I have already written that. Way. So, highest yes. common power and then rest of the terms, right? Yes. So, this is LCM, and obviously, this is a very stupid question, but because I am a stupid teacher, so I can ask. Yes, yeah, yes. so, sir, yeah, so uh, what would be the highest or lowest common power, Tala? Sorry for asking this question. Yes. Yes, sir. So uh, when you calculate the L HCA with the prime factorization method, you take the lowest uh, power or the highest power? Uh, for HCA, lowest. Yeah, because you are taking the highest, so this would be lowest, right? 
lowest power. Why? Because let's say, yeah, let's say you have these two numbers. So you have in one uh, number, you have three square into two, four, and let's say five. And then some other number is let's say three q and two q and let's say this is uh, some number seven. So the uh, LCF would be right. So you have two common numbers three q three q right. So what is the lowest power of three? Yeah, Adil, what is the lowest power of three? Yes, uh, Adil, what is the lowest power of three? One, two. Uh, two, yes, because you have two and three. So three square will be there. And the next one would be, yeah. So that the next uh, you have common these two. So what would be there? Two cube or two four? Two four. Two four. So lowest, lowest, just see here, lowest power, right? Yeah. So four and three, lowest is three, right? Yeah. So two, two. So this is the LCM, right? And tell me about the LCM. LCM would be what? So highest power. So three square and three cube. What is the highest power? Four. Hmm. Three square and three cube. So you have only two and three power. So what would be this? Right, uh, you have forgotten another. It's three. Yeah, so this is three, three, and two, four, and two, two. So highest power, what should be here? Two, four. Two, four, and then the rest, five and seven. So this is the LC. Right, am I, uh, am I correct, uh, guys? Let's see. Yeah. And then uh, there is this uh, rule that LCM into HCF is the product of the numbers. Right. So this was uh, the another. So this was in the, uh, this was another part of this exercise. And then in one question, they were asking that uh, if this ends with zero or not. Right, this was some question. So to check this, we have to check whether this have two into five factor or not. Right, we have to just check whether this is there or not. Right, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this was uh, some question. And in the second exercise we had, uh, in the second exercise is about the irrational numbers. So, the first part was we have to prove that whether three is an irrational number or not. Right. So what was uh, the idea that we used to do this thing? Uh, assuming that uh, root three is rational. Right. So we assume that uh, root three, and this method was known as the reductio, right? Reductio ad absurdum. So in this method, we assume the opposite and then we prove that our assumption is wrong, right? So this was the method. So we assume that uh, root three is a rational number, right? So then if root three is a rational number, then we can write root three as a P, P by Q, Q, right? And where P and Q are co prime numbers. So, can you guys tell me what are co prime numbers? So, let me ask you that uh, is so, whenever you see this word co prime, so you think about pairs. Okay. Right. So, can you guys tell me what are co prime numbers? Yes. Uh, multiple of number. No, no, no. Not the com composite number. Not the multiple. Yeah. So let me 
Okay. Yeah, Talha, do you remember? What are two prime numbers? So always remember the pairs. Pair of numbers. Yeah, so pair of number, but they have some other properties. Right. Okay, Shaima, can you tell me what are two prime numbers? A pair of prime numbers? No, 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 no. They are not. Uh, so this this word is misleading. Right. This word is misleading. So the co prime numbers are those number which have only one hidden formula. Right. So let's say five and six. Right. So this is a co prime number. But you see that six is not a prime number. Okay, but five and six have only one form, right? And if I write, uh, if I write four and uh, nine, right? So is this a two prime number? Yes. Tell her, is this a two prime number? Four and nine? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Two prime. Right. Because because if I divide four by nine, so I will have four by nine. Right. Because only one is common. Right. So this P Q R are two prime numbers. Right. This P Q are two prime number, which means that they have only one in common. Right. But uh, if you guys remember, then uh, what would be our aim that would be able to prove that uh, these P and Q have some another common number, right? Yeah, so we can write P as root P Q and you guys all know the process, right? So we will get a P factor of P as, so three is a factor of uh, P and then to get a three is a factor of Q. So you'll see that three is common in P and Q. But our assumption was that we are full prime, right? So you guys uh, revise that, right? You guys revise that, and uh, yeah. So I'm just telling you what uh, what uh, what what we have done in those two chapters. You guys just revise this, okay? And then then uh, we have this. Uh, so one more important thing that the rational numbers are non-terminating. And non right? So this was about the second channel. And this uh, division algorithm is omitted, right, uh, guys? So many portions were omitted. I don't know. So I have, I'll just check the rationalized uh, syllabus. Yeah, then you have the second chapter. So in second chapter, we learned about this uh, polynomial, right? Polynomial means uh, you know, one or more than one term, right? So one was, so if I have one term, so what is what it is called? Tala, linear one term. polynomial. Uh, forget about linear. Yeah, one linear term. Poly. Yeah, yes, uh, yes, Tala, what did you say? Yes, Tala. No, no, no. Not. Uh, what is so yeah if i have one term only so polynomial though so just uh, think and another student is that what is that i have only one term Monomial. okay so that is a, yes 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 correct oh, like yes that. correct okay. yeah so if that and then there is like see one. see you guys have forgotten that is why i i revise it yeah so yeah, so if you have second uh, two term, then Adil, tell me what is this? Okay. Yes, Adil. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. correct. Five. Now you guys are here. And then we we'll have so three term, then this one. Prime on. So where was this linear coming from? Did I talk about this degree, guys? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes. 
I talked about degree. Yes, sir. Yes. Huh? Did I tell about the degree? I don't. I didn't tell about the degree, right? Degree, right? We say, talked about it. Oh no! In this question, in this question, did I talk about oh, the degree? Uh, no, no. no, so why? Why you guys? <laughs> So linear, yeah, linear quadratic cubic comes when we have this degree of the ball number, right? So we have this degree of the ball number. So this is, as you guys, highest power. Highest power. Of right. Of the variable. And uh, the important thing to notice that uh, this shouldn't have the fractional power, right? And this shouldn't have negative value, negative power, right? So this was the condition to have a point. So let me ask you this question. So is this so is this a polynomial? This one? No. No. Okay. So Rizwan said, uh, no, and yes. So Rizwan said, Tala. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. No. I say no. Yes. No or yes? I say no. No. Huh? No. Okay. So Tala says, Adil, what about you? Yes or no? No. No. Okay. So, Adil says no. Shaima, what about you? Yes. Yes, okay. So, Shaima said yes. Uh, yes. So, what do you guys, can you guys change your answer or you guys are again with your answer? You guys stick to your answer. Yes. Yes. I don't so, know. <laughs> so, uh, let me let me remind you guys in quadratic equation in the first exercise we learned about the most important thing without doing the what we can't check so in quadratic 4.1 exercise uh, we learned some what was that yeah so what was that guys power continuity no, no, no. In quadratic equation 4.1 exercise, that was about the right checking the quadratic equation, right? That was the checking the quadratic equation 4.1 exercise. Do you guys remember? Yes, yes. And what is the first thing that we did? I said follow two steps, right? What was the first step? Forgotten already. Yeah, simplification. Yeah, Shaima remembers. Remember, and now you guys remember. So, so x square x five is x seven, right? X x four into x five is how much? So this cancel, then we have x seven plus x. So, what is this? Teller is one other. I thought it uh, one by uh, one by yeah. power four will change to x minus four. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously this will change to x minus four. But this this uh, cruel guy, this guy is the culprit, which <laughs> which will make yeah, which will make this uh, non polynomial term to a polynomial, right? So, yeah, so always remember without any simplification, uh, simplification, don't, uh, yeah, so don't come to an answer. Okay, guys. Okay, revision, revision, guys. Revision. Yes, uh, where was I? So, degree of the polynomial now, you know, right? And uh, whatever is the degree of the polynomial, okay, so before I talk about. So if I have this, I should not pass. If I have one degree, then this is linear. If I have two degree, then this is uh, quadratic. Right, and if I have three degree, then uh, this is uh, cube. Right. So this is our, okay. 
then uh, then we understood about this uh, graphical so then we have this zeros of the polynomial right zeros of the polynomial okay and what did it say that let's say if px is something right let's say 3x square plus 2 right and uh, 2x let's say and plus 4 right so so this is some px right and i found uh, some value k which is the zero of this polynomial which means that if i put k x equals to k then what will i get what will i get ah uh, this one what will i get k square plus 2 into k plus uh, no yeah that yeah so that that i will get but what would be the end result if k is the zero of this polygon if k is one of the solution of this polygon right oh, so uh, it is equal to zero yeah yeah right so this is this is what i want right so this we learned in this uh, four point uh, which is i like this four point two or four point uh, yeah four point three four point three just recently we learned this right yes okay so and there was a relation between zeros and this uh, degree of the polynomial right so if we so no 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 there so yeah so you have the relation between coefficient and the zero but uh, you have also some relation between degree and this zero so what is that uh, remember yeah okay let me give you a hint so this is the degree right and the zeros you get for solving this uh, equation so what is the relation between this degree and this what is the relation between degree and yeah zeros of the polynomial Yeah, I took uh, more than 15 minutes or so, but uh, because I was in panic mode in first uh, few half an hour, right? So, because, uh, because Shaiva gave me some. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So, what is the relation, guys? Quickly, I wanted to start this AP, but I guess, uh, by, but I guess uh, I would only be able to just revise. So, I'm just telling you guys that uh, revise these portions, okay. Yes. Okay, yeah, and uh, on Friday, I will take a test of these four challenges. So, guys, uh, one please. More. Uh, one more? One, one more? Friday again, test. Yeah, because uh, uh, you have this fortnightly test, right? Because, because uh, these tests are important to make you guys uh, more comfortable with your exam, right? So mm -hmm. uh, just to set you with all those examination or pressure or, and all those conditions that you that you face when you are going to the exam, right? So just to yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the relation? R is one. Remember? Yes, Adil. I remember. You remember? Okay, then you don't answer. Adil, you remember? Okay. Adil, you remember? Shaima. Yes, sir, Shaima. Sir, I don't remember. Yeah, okay. So, yes, now is one tell. What is the answer? Uh, the, uh, the degree is equal to the zeros. Yeah, so the number of degree number of the degree of the polynomial is equal to the Number, number of, of zeros. Right. Yes. So zero, yeah, degree equals to not the number of degree equals to the number of zeros. So whatever the degree of the polynomial you have, right. So that will be the number of the zeros you get. Right. Uh, now you guys remember. So if you have a two degree equation, then you will get two solutions, right? Okay, and uh, then we had this graphical solution that we understood about this uh, 
so graphical solution and in this so this is the first exercise that you have in 3.1 chapter so graphical in a graphical exercise we understood that whatever the number of points that it crosses this x axis that yeah that is the number of this so this was the graphical solution and uh, then we learned about this yeah so then we learned about this uh, relation between yes relation between uh, zero and coefficient yeah zeros and the coefficients of the polynomial right so let's say first polynomial is first polynomial is let's say quantification okay so other what is the general form of the quality equation Yes, Adil. Adil. Yeah, you are here, right? Yeah, so what is the general form of the quality equation, Adil? So just, yeah, so just remember the four, 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 four yes. chapters. Yes. Yeah, AX square mm, plus BX plus C plus B. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so why were you hesitating? Uh, right. So C is one. He uh, he told the wrong answer, but uh, he was confident in that answer, right? So I'm here to correct. Uh, so don't bother about the right or wrong, right? Okay. Yeah. So this is the general form, right? Where a, B, and C are the coefficients and the constant. Right. And then you have, uh, so this is a two degree uh, equation, right? So this will have two zeros. Let's say alpha and theta. Right. So Talha, tell me if I have alpha and beta, so how can I, I write the quality equation? Yes. So, in uh, context of these uh, roots or these uh, zeros, how can I write the quadratic equation? Remember, forgotten. Yeah. So that was in terms of alpha and beta. The quadrant. Yeah. So. That quadratic equation was in terms of alpha and beta. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't remember. And Rizwan is remembering all those uh, things because he has just given his exam, right? So that is a that is one very benefit for Rizwan. Yeah, so Rizwan, you tell me. Seven product. Yeah. Uh, hello. Ah, yes, yes. So, okay, what is the question? Yeah, so if you have this alpha and beta zero is given, so how can you write the quadratic equation? What would be the quadratic equation in the form of this alpha and beta? The main product uh, alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. Yeah, so yes, that is correct that you can write in the form of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. But I am asking that what would be the quadratic equation in the form of alpha plus beta and alpha into beta. Oh, okay. Remember? Minus B, yeah, minus B by A and C by A. No, no, no. I am not asking about this relation, sir. Uh, uh, I am asking about what would be the equation like this. The equation of a quadratic equation. Uh, the equation of a quadratic yeah. Shaima, so what would be that? X square plus alpha plus beta X plus alpha yes. beta. So, okay, so alpha plus beta, but uh, is there a problem in this equation? This one and Tala and Adil. Do you remember and can you find one problem in this uh, equation? 
Yeah, so is this correct? Uh, Tanha Rizwan, do you guys remember? Hmm. Guys. Um, yeah. Um, Sharma, is this correct or is there a problem in this equation? Uh, one problem, sir. Huh? One? Yeah. Uh, x square minus alpha plus theta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So x square minus. Okay. And then you can compare this equation with this, and then you will find that this alpha plus beta would be minus b by a, and alpha into beta would be c by a. Right. So this is the relationship between the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros. Right, guys? Yes, Tala. Yes, Tala. Tala, sir. Adil, sir, remember now. Yes, guys. Hello, Tala, Adil. Are you there, guys? And uh, yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. We can hear you. Okay, so, ah, so remember now, Tala. Yes. Yeah, so revise, revise to take the, uh, so make a short note or write this in some sticky notes and paste it on the walls, right? So, so just revise these guys. Right? Okay, and Adil, remember now. Yeah. So, yeah, so Shaima is uh, revising, I guess, because uh, she knows most of the answers. Okay, so very good, Shaima. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. And then the next, uh, yeah. So I was seeing the syllabus and I saw that this cubic equation was also there. Okay. So this cubic equation, although this is, so there was not any equation in the exercise, but uh, I found that this was in the syllabus. So for the cubic equation, the general form would be this, right? Uh, will it come in exam, sir? Yes, because I saw this in the rationalized uh, syllabus. So I guess that this may, because there was no question in the in the exercises, but I saw this in the in the book. So I think that uh, this may come. Okay. You guys, uh, you guys know. So, yeah. So the relationship between the zeros is, so this will have uh, how many zeros, right? Three. Alpha, beta, gamma. Uh, yes, checking. Yeah, so this is minus three by eight, right? Just take, so this one for minus plus minus, this is how it goes. So then we take in the pairs, alpha, beta, beta, gamma, gamma, alpha. This would be how much? So just remember, minus then positive. First one is this, then this, then this. So what, what would be this? Yes, any guess, Salha. After minus B by A, uh, there will be, after this would be there, right? So what? C what by A. C by A, right. And remember the cycle. So minus plus and then minus. So what would be alpha, beta, gamma? Yes, Adil. Yes, Adil. What would be here? I don't know. Ah, you don't remember. Okay. So Shaima, what would be here? D by A. Yeah, so just uh, remember these. So there is minus, then plus, then there will be alternate sign. So minus T by Okay. So this would be the relationship between the zeros. Okay, for the cubic equation. Just, uh, so if you remember this, if you remember this, then you can remember this. Okay, because this is the same like, uh, but uh, in case of this, we have, so first one is this sum. Then you have the pair. So you see that this is one, then you have two, then you have three dots. So this is how it uh, goes. Okay. 
Yeah, so this completes the second chapter, I guess only, yeah, so this was, and you, so in the 4.2 exercise, you had this, uh, you have to prove the relationship between the zeros and the coordinates and the one, and the coefficient. So you learned about this middle term splitting, and then you found out the alpha and beta, then you did that. Then you have this third chapter, right? So linear equation. Okay, already seven thirty. Why? Linear equation in two variables. So uh, in linear equation in two variables, uh, what is the general form of linear equation in two variables? Tell uh, Yes. Yeah, general form. Yeah, general form of uh, linear equation in two variables. Oh, that is huh? I was about to say AX square, but then no, 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 AX, yeah, AX is right. AX, then a is it like AX square plus B? Linear, remember, linear. linear. So mm. AX is fine. Yeah. What would be? AX plus B, AX plus B. Second variable, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so. <laughs> B, oh, I see. So, right. B, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the linear equation because degree is one. And then you have these two variables, right? X and Y. So, linear equation. Is two Okay. okay, and uh, there was a there was a thing that uh, to solve the unknowns, whatever is the number of unknowns. So the number of unknowns is related with the number of equations. So if you have two variables, then how many equations do you need to solve that unknown? Yeah. So you have two variables, which means that you require two equations to solve, right? Right. So then uh, you define pair of linear equation into variables. Okay, and uh, this was what? So this was A1x. Plus a one y plus c one equals to zero a two x plus b two y plus c two x zero right. So these were the two linear uh, equation two variables, and uh, then uh, in the first exercise we learned about uh, the representation of these linear equations. So the representation were two. What were those? Uh, are they? What were those representations? Okay, already 731. I wanted to start this uh, fifth chapter. And uh, the next class will happen. Okay. Yeah, so just quickly, we have this uh, algebraic representation, right? And then we have this graph. Pattern. Right, algebraic one is this, and then the graph would be straight back. Okay, so let's say you have this pair of linear equation, then this would be some graph. This graph, or let's say uh, you can have this graph, you can have this graph, or you can have, let's say, this graph. Again, this one. Okay, so these were the representation. This was about this uh, first exercise. Then the second exercise about, was about this solution. So you have uh, three kinds of solution, right, guys? First one was uh, no solution. Second was uh, unique solution. Third was many solution. Graphically, this was parallel. Graphically, this was intersecting. Graphically, this was coincident. Right, and uh, 
this was parallel no solution yeah and this was uh, in one solution yeah and then this was many solutions and then uh, you have this one was inconsistent right this was consistent consistent also consistent and this was also consistent right so this was from the graph whenever you have a graph and you have parallel lines you can see that this is parallel this is intersecting and this is Okay, so the next batch is uh, coming. Okay, guys. So, see you tomorrow and then uh, then we'll start this fifth chapter. Okay, I was not able to give you some homework, but uh, the homework could be what? Okay, so no homework for today. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you so much, but but uh, this is for Stella and uh, Shaima only. Adil and uh, Rizwan, please uh, send me those. Uh, okay, 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 guys. Uh, sorry, but I wanted to re repeat all those things that we have done. Right, just to yeah. So just to so just to make you guys remember what we have done. Okay, uh, yeah. So Tala, Adil, Rizwan, Shaima, why did Abdullah left? Yeah. So. I love this and uh, me too tomorrow. And then uh, then we'll start this fifth chapter. Okay. okay. And you guys, please write these in some uh, notebook and just does these uh, basic concept first, right? So that you can remember at uh, any point that you want. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. I love this. I love this. I love this.